Well, two major moon projects have suffered setbacks. Science and technology correspondent Brent O'Halloran explains. The mission to softly land the first commercial space probe on the moon has failed. Peregrine 1 launched from Cape Canaveral in Florida earlier this week, but scientists identified an issue shortly after it separated from the rocket. Essentially, it's a fuel leak. The company behind it, Astrobotics, described it as a propulsion system anomaly, which affected its ability to correctly position for solar power. Engineers thought they'd fixed it, but they now say there is no chance of a soft landing on the moon. You can't fix things in space. It's, it's part of, the, it has to be built to work. And even a small failure can lead to a catastrophic outcome. Peregrine One's mission was a controversial one, which highlighted concerns around the commercialization of space. Among other tasks, it would have delivered ashes and a sports drink to the lunar surface. We are going to the moon, to deep space, and to Mars. And NASA has announced another delay in its quest to return humans to the moon. The US Space Agency says the first Artemis mission around the moon and the first Artemis landing have been pushed back a year to September 2025 and September 2026, respectively. It says this will allow teams to work through challenges associated with first-time developments, operations, and integration. Some of the stupid decisions that were made a few years back are coming back to haunt NASA. Part of the reason that they can't get the next spacecraft to go to the moon ready in time is that they have to take all the electronics out of the first one that went. Why? Well, they thought they were saving money. Ends up being the stupidest thing they could have done. It's unclear whether this will impact Rover, the first Australian-designed lunar rover, which is part of the Artemis program. It's expected to be sent to the moon by the end of the decade. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.